jacket from the GIS relaxing driving school. Today I'll be showing you how to do the, the pre-trip inspection for the class A truck trailer. We write down the pre-trip inspection sheets for the instructor how to, to do the inspection. Today we have the three parts we have to do. First we need to inspect the from the front of the tractor. We call the engine compartment from the left driving axles. Later we will be extend to the how to inspect the driver door and the fuel area. If there are any parts on the tractor we still inspect. And the next one will be checked from the tractor to the trailer cabinet items. And finally we will be show how to do the truck trailer inspection. The first from the beginning the top one is the clearance lights. We need to mention the clearance lights, clean, purple color, no missing links broken. The next one, come lower down to the windshield. The windshield is clean, no illegal sticker, no crack on the glass. The next to the windshield have the registration and inspection sticker. We call both updates, up to date or the updated. The next one, come to the back, both side of the windshield wiper and the wiper arm. Need to call out securely mounted, not lose or missing parts. And the next one comes to the left and the right convex mirrors. Need to fix to the mirror, we need the two set, securely mounted, properly adjust, clean, no broken. The next one comes to the convex mirror bracket. It's the same thing, securely mounted, not crack missing, lose or parts. The next one comes to the, the heavy vehicle stickers. The same Updates, up to date or the updated. The bumper is cute. Not just the missing parts. The lesson plate clear and visible. And finally, we need to go check down the model. The model we need to make sure all air hoses or the all hoses is good to connect, not leaking. Especially we need to mention no colon and like antifreeze or the engine oil leaking or dipping on the truck. The next one, we tell the inspector, I will be go check the engine parts. The instructor told us to the check the engine parts we need from the left driving axles. So open the hood, check the engine parts. I would suggest from the front to the back, one by one to check. The, this part is a power steering fluid tank. We could call out power steering fluid tank, the inside the power steering fluid. Onward refill mark, as safe operating range. The tank is securely mounted, not cracked, not leaking. The hoses is secured, connect with the tank. It's not cracked, not leaking. Following the hose, directly we come to the power steering pump. The power steering pump by gear driven is operating properly, mounted securely, no cracks, no leaking. And very special the word you could use, not missing bolts, nuts, and the clamps. The next one, we go check the alternator. It's out of the pad, it's alternator. The alternator securely mounted by wheel driven. All wire normally connection. The next one, we go check the engine oil. It's for take out. We need to clean and uh, restate. Take out again. Engine oil over refuel mark at safe operating range. The next one, we come to the those hoses all the way down to the air compressor. So folding the hose to the air compressor by gear driven. Is operating properly, mounted securely. The hose no cut it. Do not hurt any leaking. Next one, come to, to check the steering linkage. The steering linkage is a purpose. Is a transmit the steering security option to the wheel. The parts, the U join, the U join, and the socket. Enough grease, no bends or loose. The gearbox. Securely mounted, no crack, no leaking. Next one, the pitman arm, no dents, no cracks. Securely mounted, no loose or missing bolts, nuts, and the cutter pins. The next one, come this part, dragging. The 
straggling, securely mounted. No crack, no bends. There's no missing bolts, nuts, and the cutter pins. The next one, come down to here to the steering arm. The steering arm, no crack, no bends. No, also missing bolts, nuts, and cutter pins. The next one, come to left and the right wheel tire route. Left and the right wheel tire route. There's no bends, no cracks. The security connects from the left and to right. No missing bolts, nuts, and uh, cutter pins. The engine part also is fine. Next one, we check the suspension parts. This parts we call leaf spring mounted or the leaf spring hanger. Securely mounted. No crack, no bends. No retail welding or no broken weld. The next one, we check the u bolts. The u bolts hold the leaf spring, no shifts. The u bolts, no loose or missing, securely mounted. The next one, we check no missing brackets, bolts, and the bolts. Next, we go check the leaf spring. The leaf spring is no cracked missing shifts broken the next one we check the shock observer the shock observer securely mounted from the top to the bottom no oil leaking the next one we check the brake parts the first we go find out the brake hose and the abs line the brake hose carry air the abs line security connect to the ABS sensor. So both you could set no cuts, no freight, there's no cracks. Do not hurt any leaking. No missing feeding and the cabinet. The next one, we check the brick chamber. The brick chamber, securely mounted. No dents, no cracks. Do not hurt any leaking. No loose or missing clamp. The next one, we check the slack adjuster and the push rods. We need push push by hand. Try it. It's not move more than one inch plate. The slack adjuster and the push rods. No securely mounted, no crack bends. The next one, we need point to check the, the brake drum and the brake lining or the brake shoes, the inside of the parts. The securely mounted, no broken holes. The brake lining, no loose. Of, the brake lining more than quarter inch. Clean, no grease oil. Brake drum we still need to call out. It's uh, not loose or missing parts. The next one, we go check the front of the tire. We go check the front of the tire. The front tire we supposed to need to use tire gauge to check proper inflation 100 psi. The front tire is tri dips. It's more than four by 30 second inch. The front tire cannot be recapped, retrieved, and the regrooved. That means it's brand new. The front, no cuts, no bubbles on the sidewalk. The next one, we check the rim. The rim is no bends, no cracks, no repair welding, or the illegal welds. It's no rust trail, short around, indicate rim is loose. The next one, we check the valve stem and the valve cap. It's securely mounted, not lose the missing parts. The next one, we check the lug nut. We have the 10 lug nut. So we need to touch on to make sure it's uh, no loose missing nuts and uh, no crack radiation from lug bolt holes or no rust show around the nuts. The next one, we go check the, the hopper seal. The hopper seal, all ball high skills. Clean, no oil leaking. The next one, we check the mat flap. The security mounted, not loose and missing. The left side we finished. Now we need to go to the right hand side to check the right side of the engine part. First, we check the cooling tank. We check the cooling tank. The cooling tank securely mounted, no crack, no leaking. The cooling label. Turn add to max over refill mark as safe operating range. The bar, the hose is no cut, no cracked, securely connect. Following the hose to water pump, the water pump by Bill Dreaming.
It's operating properly, mounting security. There's no leaking. The next one, you check the engine compartment belt, right? The engine belt. When push back hands, not move more than three quarter inch plate. The engine belt, no visible cracks, no loose fiber, no sign of the wall, no cut. The next one, they check for the washer fluid tank and the washer fluid. The washer fluid tank is securely mounted. It's not quite leaking. The washer fluid, you don't have to see it, but they make sure right here on the mark. It's over refill mark. Next one. Finally, we go check, make sure all air hoses, electrical line and the line insulation. There's no cuts, no cracks, no tips. All spliced. Now we am finished by the engine compartment inspect. Check driver side door and the mirrors from the driver side door. The door no crack, no broken, and the open close properly. The door hinge secure with the seal intact. Door window clean, no broken or cracked. The side mirror securely mounted, properly adjust, clean, no broken. The brackets securely mounted, not also missing parts. Next one, check the handrail. The handrail securely mounted, not also missing parts. Next one, check the side turn signal light. You could use simple ward, clean, proper color, no missing links broken. The next one, we check the entry step. The entry step is securely mounted, clean. The tree levels, the bubble levels. The next one, we check the fuel tank. The fuel tank is securely mounted, no crack, no leaking. We check the, the fuel cap to make sure the fuel cap is high secured. And the next one, we need to go check the fuel line, fuel close over line. The fuel close over line. No cuts, no leaking. Next, we check the parts. It's catchwork. The catchwork and the step. The catchwork and the step, solid, not loose. Secured connect to the tractor frame. Clean, no debris, no grease or oil on the catchwork. That's as much important. The next one, we check the exhaust system. It's the exhaust system. Exhaust system. Mountain security. No loose or missing clamps. And no rust such of the carbon suit. That means that no any crack broken or the not damaged. The next one, we check the tractor frame. The tractor frame is uh, no broken, no cracks. No repair welding or no illegal welds. It's no broken or no broken or holes on the frame. It's not a that no not a damage to the longitudinal frame members. We could call out to cross member. No another damage to the cross member. No broken or holes. The next one, we need to check the, the driving shift. The drive shift is skewed connect. No bends, twists. All cracked and our Kaplan, the Kaplan and the U joint appear disecured to free of the foreign objects. No debris on there. The next one, we go check the tractor suspension part. First, we check the spring hanger. The spring hanger securely mounted, no crack broken, and uh, the U bolt. Securely mounted, hold it to the leaf spring, no shit, no loose or missing bolts. The bracket and the bolts portion I use attach leaf spring, airbag to frame and the to top arm. It's assembled, not crack broken. The next one, we check the leaf spring. The leaf spring is no missing, cracked, shift, broken. The next one, go to the back. We check the airbag suspension. The airbag suspension securely mounted. 
from the top to the bottom, no cuts, no leaking. The next one we go back, we still need to check shock up server. The shock up server is securely mounted from top to the bottom, clean, no oil leaking. Next parts, we checked up. The brake system, the brake parts is hiding the inside. So we need to call out first one, same like the front, the first one, the brake holes carry air, the ABS line connect to the ABS sensor. It's no cuts to not hurt the inking. It's no freight. The no missing coupling and the fittings. The next one, we check the brake chamber. The brake chamber securely mounted. No dented, no cracked, no leaking. Not lose or missing clamp. The next one, we check a slack adjuster. It's behind of the brake chambers. On the back, the slack adjuster securely mounted. It's no bends, no cracks. When pushed by hands, not move more than one inch plate. And the no loose or missing parts. The next one, we still need to go point two to check the brake drum and the brake lining. The brake drum and the brake lining, same like the parts A, we will check the front. The no broken holes, no loose or missing parts. And the, the brake lining, clean. More than quarter inch, no grease oil. Next part, we check the tire. We had both the tire. So the real, the inside and the outside tire, we need to use tire gauge to check proper inflation 100 PSI. The next one, the tire tread depth is more than two thirty second inch. The real tire, both tires, same size, no mismatch. The wheel for even spacing, no debris, nothing between. No cuts, no bubbles on the sidewall. Next, we check the rim. The rim. No cuts, no bends, no cracks, no repair welding. That's why we like to say. And uh, no rust chill indicate rim is loose. The next part, we check the valve cap and the stem. The valve cap and the stain is securely mounted, not cracked, no missing. The lug nuts, same thing, we have the two lug nuts. Obo tight secure, no loose missing, no crack radiation from lug bolt holes, or no rust show around the nuts. The next one, the axle oil seal, the obo tight secure, clean, no oil leaking. The next one, we check the back flap and splash guards. Make sure it's securely mounted, no loose or missing. The next one, we need to go inside to check the, the lights. We have the left and the right combo lights. They're working for turn signal, four way flash lights, tail lights, and the brake lights. We have the bike half light and the reversing lights. And we have the left and the right reflector. We could call out clean, proper color, no missing lanes broken. We have the license plate lights securely mounted as no crack missing. We have the license plate clear and the visible. Okay, the part three, we do the captain item. is between the tractor to the trailers. First, we check this. Electrical wire, electrical wire is no cuts, no burns, no exposed wire. The tractor plug securely mounted and the secured connect to the trailer with a safe lock. The next one, we check the right emergency line and the blue service line. Both no cuts, secured connect to the tractor to trailer to not hurt any leaking. With black hands, no crack or bent. We need to make sure all air hoses and the electrical line is a proper clearance, has enough space from the catwalk. The next one, we check the mountain bolt. The mountain bolt. Mountain bolt. Securely mount fifth wheel to the place. No loose or missing bracket, bolts, and nuts. 
the next one we check the platform the platform is a support fixed view connect to the front it's no cracks no broken the fixed view is a proper lubrication securely mounted to the platform it's not loose or missing bolts and the pins next one we checked for the release arm the release arm cap of the trailer all the way in let the locking jaw close around the kingpin the next one i'll be going inside to check the kingpin and the locking jaw the first the kingpin secured in the jaw holes the kingpin no bent no loose the locking jaw close around the kingpin connect of the trailer no loose or missing the next one we check the apron the apron is securely mounted to the trailer no visible cracks or broken as line flats on the fifth wheel no gap no lights nothing between next we talk about the harpoon the trailer the first we check the trailer Or front wall as no cracks, no broken. Security is not also missing reverts. We have those trailer no reverts, but need to make sure the reverts are not, not missing. And uh, strong enough to contain cargo. On the top, the clearance lights. The clearance lights, same thing. Clean, purple color, no missing links broken. The next one, we'll check the, the trailer inspection sticker. It's updates, up to date, or the updated. When we turn on the side, we check on the side doors. On the top, the clearance lights, clean, purple color, no missing links broken. Have the white color on the back, so we mentioned the white color on the rear, the amber color on front. The next one, we go check, check the door. The side door, we need open and close. To make sure the door is no crack, no broken. Open, close properly. The latch, the latch secures. And the, the strap and the chain secure, not lose anything. We check the side DOT tape. The side DOT tape, proper color, no loose missing. It's DOT reflect tape. Next one, we check the trailer frame the trailer frame make sure that trailer frame is uh, no cracks no bends no repair welding no broken welds no loose or missing longitudinal frame members or you could call it cross member and uh, much important thing is uh, no broken or holes at trailer floor next one we call it landing gear the landing gear the landing gear securely mounted and the fully raised. The crack handle was secured inside. The support frame and the, and the lighting pipe, no loose missing. The front almost finished. We go check all the way back. Next one, now this is, a, this is a trailer suspension brake and the tire inspect. The hard to set because all parts is hanging inside. So, but we still need to buy your memories. We need to call out the spring hanger. Spring hanger securely mounted, not cracked, not missing. Not lose or missing parts. The U-bolt securely hold it to the leaf spring, no shift, no loose the bolt. The leaf spring, no crack, no loose, no missing, no shift. The shock observer, Securely mounted from the top to the bottom. Clean, no oil leaking. You need to point to at the top to check. We still have the brake parts. So the brake holes carry the air. No cuts, no crack, no leaking. The ABS line secured connect to the ABS sensor. Not lose or missing capping and the fitting. The next one, we check the brake chamber. 
the brake chamber on the front. The brake chamber securely mounted, no crack, no bends, no dented, no loose or missing clamp. Same thing, the slack adjuster and the push rod on the back. It's securely mounted, it's no bends, no cracks. We'll push by hand, not move more than one inch plate. Next one, we check the brake drum and the brake lining. No broken, no holes, on the securely mounted, the brake lining or the brake shoes, more than quarter inch, clean, no grease or oil. Next one, we go check the tires. The both side, both tire, we need to use tire gauge to check proper inflation 100 psi. The, tri the real tire tri dip is more than 232 inch, 2 by 32 inch. The both tire, same size, no mismatch. The wheel for even spacing, no debris, nothing between. Next, we check the rim. The rim, no bends, no cracks, no repel welding or illegal welds. No rust indicate rim is loose. The stem and the cap. The valve stem and the cap, securely mounted, not crack missing. The lug nuts, the lug nuts, same, all ball tight skew, not loose missing. No crack radiation from lug bolt holes, or you could call no rust show around the nuts. The axle oil seal, all ball tight skew, dry, clean, no oil leaking. The back will only have the matte flap. So matte flap, securely mounted, it's no crack missing. And we have the side, we have the ABS line. Only the left side have the ABS line. Purple color, no loose or missing, links, clean. Now we go to the back. We go back, you can see on the top. The top, we have the clearance lights. And uh, we have the left, and the right, the tail light, same working for the brake lights. And uh, we have the left and the right turn signal light, four wheel flashlight. And the left and the right brake light working, tail light too. It's all clean, proper color, no missing lens broken. So next, we check the DOT reflector tape. It's clean, proper color, no loose missing. Next one, we check the license plate lights. The license plate lights securely mounted, no loose missing. The license plate clear and visible. The bumper secured. Now you can tell the inspector. If you finish, you think everything is finished, you tell the inspector, I'm finished by outside inspection. I'm Jackie.